holding already the ninth edition of the Polish Film Festival, Kinoteka. And obviously the scale is growing with each year, with each edition. We have managed to, to gather the audience of 8,000 people this year. Uh, we were showing over 50 titles uh, within 14 venues all around the UK uh, in five cities. Of course, as every year, we are trying to uh, present different genres of the cinema, combining both the new Polish cinema titles, which are the, the most interesting and the most challenging uh, productions of the last 12 months, uh, together with the classics, such as uh, Kondratiuk Brothers Retrospective, which we had this year, or the masterpiece of uh, silent film era, uh, The Strongman, with live music by Pink Floyd. Along with the screenings, uh, we do hold Q&As with the directors. I think it's, it's a good tradition because in this way the audience can actually confront uh, the directors, ask them questions and analyze together the films. We are also trying to, to look at those, uh, those places where cinema meets other, other uh, arts, other genres such as music and uh, visual arts. Uh, and that's why we're also having um, poster exhibitions. This year uh, we are having Franciszek Starowiejski's exhibition. Uh, really amazing, visually very attractive uh, posters. We could see it in uh, at the Riverside Studios as well as in the Barbican here. We are making many more films now than ever. There is a new, fresh blood coming into the Polish uh, uh, film industry. I think we have many talented people and not only Polish cameramen who are already famous all around the world but the new young po Polish directors I think they will make it in the nearest future. Variety of, of those films uh, guarantee that there are going to be films which were which would be kind of a new wave of the, of the Polish cinema. On one hand, we have uh, something that is engaging viewers, is clearly addressed to as many viewers as possible, of course. But uh, on the other hand, I'm trying to, you know, do something that could be, uh, that should be uh, my personal, uh, you know, opinion, my personal message. You know, I, I really, do believe that if if someone is doing uh, relatively cheap cinema, uh, low budget independent production, it's still a, a lot of room for uh, your you know own personal perspective. Anyway, I think you know I, I'm working with uh, many different peoples, composers, rock musicians, uh, people doing animation, and I see that if you really really want to do your own personal work and if you're determined to, to, to do it it's still possible of course you, you don't have a fancy car and you don't live in a fancy apartment but it's still possible in Poland to to make to s somehow make a living doing uh, you know less commercial things and I think it's as, as long as it's possible that's great I can't complain The ambitions of the festivals uh, are obviously much bigger and we hope that next year with the 10th edition, with this anniversary edition, we'll be able to show even more films and reach even more uh, of the British audience.